The Book of Genesis Chapter 15. Reading from King James Version, and Bible Commentary by Matthew Henry written in 1710. Recorded by Bible for Health Missions. Bible for Health Missions, makes plain the Bible's answers, to the most important questions, on natural human and animal health. On the environment. On Christianity and on a Christian spiritual life. On stewardship. On wealth. On financial health management. On fellowship and worship. On salvation through Jesus Christ. And on faith in God. Our memory verse. Beloved. I wish above all things, that you may prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prospers. Found in 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Now. Reading the book of Genesis chapter 15. Verse 1. After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. Verse 2. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus? Verse 3. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and, lo, one born in my house is mine heir. Verse 4. And, behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. Verse 5. And he brought him forth abroad, and said, Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them, and he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Verse 6. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Verse 7. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of your of the Chaldees, to give thee this land to inherit it. Verse 8. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? Verse 9. And he said unto him, Take me an heifer of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Verse 10. And he took unto him all these, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against another, but the birds divided he not. Verse 11. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram drove them away. Verse 12. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and, lo, an horror of great darkness fell upon him. Verse 13. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Verse 14. And also that nation, whom they shall serve, will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. Verse 15. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace, thou shalt be buried in a good old age. Verse 16. But in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Verse 17. And it came to pass, that, when the sun went down, and it was dark, behold a smoking furnace, and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. Verse 18. In the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Verse 19. The Kenites, and the Kenizzites, and the Cadmonites. Verse 20. And the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Rephames. Verse 21. And the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Now, let us read. The Bible Commentary, on the book of Genesis chapter 15. Written by Matthew Henry, in 1710. God encourages Abram. 1. The Divine Promise, Abraham is justified by faith. In verses 2 to minus 6, God promises Canaan to Abraham for an inheritance. In verses 7 to 11, the promise confirmed in a vision. In verses 12 to 16, the promise confirmed by a sign. In verse 17 to 21, and verse 1, God assured Abram of safety and happiness, that he should forever be safe. I am thy shield, or, I am a shield to thee, present with thee, actually caring for thee. The consideration that God himself is, and will be a shield to his people, to secure them from all evils, a shield ready to them, and a shield round about them, should silence all perplexing, tormenting fears. In verses 2 to 6, Though we must never complain of God, yet we have leave to complain to him, and to state all our grievances. It is ease to a burdened spirit, to open its case to a faithful and compassionate friend. 
Abram's complaint is, that he had no child, that he was never likely to have any, that the want of a son was so great a trouble to him, that it took away all his comfort. If we suppose that Abram looked no further than outward comfort, this complaint was to be blamed. But if we suppose that Abram herein had reference to the promised seed, his desire was very commendable. Till we have evidence of our interest in Christ, we should not rest satisfied, what will all avail me, if I go Christless? If we continue instant in prayer, yet pray with humble submission to the divine will, we shall not seek in vain. God gave Abram an express promise of a son. Christians may believe in God with respect to the common concerns of this life, but the faith by which they are justified, always has respect to the person and work of Christ. Abram believed in God as promising Christ, they believe in him as having raised him from the dead, Romans chapter 4 verse 24. Through faith in his blood they obtain forgiveness of sins. Verses 7 to 11. Assurance was given to Abram of the land of Canaan for an inheritance. God never promises more than he is able to perform, as men often do. Abram did as God commanded him. He divided the beasts in the midst, according to the ceremony used in confirming covenants, Jeremiah chapter 34 verses 18 to 19. Having prepared according to God's appointment, he set himself to wait for the sign God might give him. A watch must be kept upon our spiritual sacrifices. When vain thoughts, like these fowls, come down upon our sacrifices, we must drive them away, and seek to attend on God without distraction. Verses 12 to 16. A deep sleep fell upon Abram, with this sleep a horror of great darkness fell upon him, a sudden change. The children of light do not always walk in the light. Several things were then foretold. 1. The suffering state of Abram's seed for a long time. They shall be strangers. The heirs of heaven are strangers on earth. They shall be servants, but Canaanites serve under a curse, the Hebrews under a blessing. They shall be sufferers. Those that are blessed and beloved of God, are often sorely afflicted by wicked men. 2. The judgment of the enemies of Abram's seed. Though God may allow persecutors and oppressors to trample upon his people a great while, he will certainly reckon with them at last. 3. That great event, the deliverance of Abram's seed out of Egypt, is here foretold. 4. Their happy settlement in Canaan. They shall come hither again. The measure of sin fills gradually. Some people's measure of sin fills slowly. The knowledge of future events would seldom add to our comfort. In the most favored families, and most happy lives, there are so many afflictions, that it is merciful in God to conceal what will befall us and ours. Verses 17 to 21. The smoking furnace and the burning lamp, probably represented the Israelites' severe trials and joyful deliverance, with their gracious supports in the meantime. It is probable that this furnace and lamp, which passed between the pieces, burned and consumed them, and so completed the sacrifice, and testified God's acceptance of it. So it intimates that God's covenants with man are made by sacrifice, Psalms chapter 50 verse 5. And we may know that he accepts our sacrifices, if he kindles in our souls pious and devout affections. The bounds of the land granted are stated. Several nations, or tribes, are spoken of, that must be cast out to make room for the seed of Abram. In this chapter we perceive in Abram faith struggling against, and triumphing over, unbelief. Wonder not, believers, if you meet with seasons of darkness and distress. But it is not the will of God that you should be cast down, fear not, for all that he was to Abram he will be to you. What do you think of Genesis chapter 15, and the Bible commentary? Share your own thoughts or comments either here or write to us through the contact us form on our website. This Bible reading of Genesis chapter 15, and Bible commentary written by Matthew Henry in 1710 was prepared and recorded by Bible for Health Missions. Please share this video with friends and relatives. And do not forget to visit our YouTube channel our websites. And subscribe by pressing the subscribe button on YouTube and complete subscription form on our websites. So that you could be the first to receive our new video uploads. Please, please hit the subscription button, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also, could like you to like this video please. Click on the like button to like this video. Before you go, we could like to make this appeal to you. 
we need your donation of your unwanted items, products, equipment, machinery, vehicle, foodstuff and many, many more, or support our mission financially, we do need your help and support to build better health communities, better environment, better human and animal health, better financial health and holy spiritual health for a successful and better life for all, help the need, and those suffering around the world and prepare a people for the second advent of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you can donate or support us online through our website, www.bible4healthmissions.com. You will find many ways you can donate or support us on this website. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly and keep you health. Remember, if you love Jesus Christ, keep his commandments. Thank you. And goodbye. See you in the next video.